I am sure that we are all bored half to death at home, and cooking is a great way to pass time. Today, I will be cooking a mac and cheese dish, so you can follow along at home. For this meal, you will need a pot and pan, olive oil, broccoli, bell peppers, hot dogs, your favorite pasta, milk, butter, and either cheese powder from the mac and cheese packet, or you can substitute pasta sauce. For this recipe, you'll want a pot of water and then set it to boil. Next, you'll want to wash your broccoli florets and start chopping them into bite-sized pieces, like so. If you already have your broccoli from a packet, then you can skip this step. When you're done, save them to use for later. Next, you'll want to start chopping up your peppers and cut them into bite-sized pieces again, like this one. Save them for later because we're going to need those too. Now it's time to chop the hot dogs. You want to make sure that you also chop these into bite-sized pieces, just like this one. Then save them for later as well. Next, drizzle a pan with olive oil and set the burner to medium high heat. Then add the broccoli to the pan. Start mixing it around and add some water midway through to help soften it. The broccoli should be cooked until soft, but once you're done, return it to the container and save it for later. Now you should have a pot of boiling hot water. Add the pasta to the pot. Once the pasta has boiled for around 8 minutes, drain it in a colander and then return it to the pot. Now what you're going to need is that butter and milk. One tablespoon of butter, half a cup of milk, and the cheese powder for the mac and cheese. Then stir it all together. Then you want to add everything to a pan with oil on the stove and mix it around for about 10 minutes until the hot dogs are cooked and the peppers are soft. Congratulations, you have successfully created the mac and cheese hot dog dish. I also like to have it with a side of salad. Enjoy. For Flyer News, this has been Tyler Garofalo.